of the biggest mistakes that guys make when they meet a cute girl is simply being too eager. And so no wonder so many dating coaches and pickup coaches out there are teaching men to start playing more hard to get so that women will be more interested in them. But today I want to tell you why playing hard to get is a terrible strategy and why you need to start learning to be hard to get instead. And most importantly, why that's such a critical distinction. So let me make this clear right off the bat. Constantly trying to please women, constantly being available, constantly agreeing with everything that they say, this is definitely going to hurt you in the dating game. And it's one of the most common uh, mistakes that I need to help guys with when they come on board with me as clients. But there are some very powerful and subtle dangers associated with pretending to be less needy than you really are. The first of these is simple. When you pretend to be something you're not, talking to women, what it does is it slowly erodes your self-esteem. So why does it do this? Well, if you're talking to women and you're constantly pretending to be something you're not or, or to feel something you're not, what you're doing is you're reminding yourself over and over and over again at a subconscious level, I'm not good enough as I am. Women won't like me the way I am. I have to pretend to be something I'm not. That means when you actually get success with women, you feel like a fraud, right? So you never really feel like you've earned the success that you really got. The second thing, the second problem is really, it's in the word play, right? Playing hard to get. You see, when we play games with each other, um, we do it to exert control. It's one of the reasons why we play games, right? Social games with each other is to try to manipulate to exert control. And it's actually the, the lowest common denominator of ways to exert self-control in any kind of social dynamic. So what you find is the people who play the most games with other people, like try to play mind games with people, are the lowest self-esteem individuals. So men with low self-esteem play a lot of social games. Women with low self-esteem play a lot of social games, even more than men, because women tend to be better. They learn from an earlier age to play social games, but it's what you see. Confident men don't. Confident women don't. And so why this is really bad is that women with high self-esteem will spot it in a man. If you're playing anything, playing hard to get, playing more confident than you really are, playing cocky and, and suave, she'll sense that and she'll lose interest and respect for you along the way. So what you're going to experience, and I do know a lot of guys who try to get into PUA pickup stuff uh, have this experience. Women look at them like they're idiots. Like, oh my God, what a spastic, get away from me. There's that kind of... Um, repulsion look that guys can get when they're doing this and they don't realize that sometimes it's far better to be a little bit nervous a little bit insecure and women will be much nicer to you and give you a chance to attract them i've talked about that in another video which you can check out up here i'll put a link but that's a really real thing right being a little bit more um genuine can actually be far more powerful than trying to pretend now you can see the 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 fallout of this if you just have a little bit of a look in pickup artist forums and, and pickup artist books if you've ever read the game what you tend to see right is you see a lot of men who have the even men who are successful with women you see a lot of these guys aren't emotionally sound they're not emotionally well put together you have guys who have to have sex with women to feel good about themselves if they, you take these men away and they don't have sex with any women for a month, they're crashing out. They're feeling bad. They're insecure. They're scratching. They're, they're nervous, right? Because they're not well put together. They're not. They're only using women as a crutch, right? They're not. They're not building themselves up as men. And you know, in the game, the two main protagonists, right? The writer style, Neil, Neil Strauss, and, and Mystery, the guy he was primarily following. Um, you know, Mystery was having ongoing, um, you know, emotional crashes, mental breakdowns. Style, uh, Neil Strauss went on to 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 battle sex addiction later on in his life and he wrote a really fantastic book about it which I highly recommend you go and check out. This is really common in the PUA industry. And you know, to me, learning to be better with women, right, is supposed to be, what I want this industry to be, is a, a whole league of men learning to become better men. Not a league of men learning to become better at pretending to be better men. There's a really important difference there. You know, if you get a woman's number, and you try to line up a date with her and you're available every single day of the week, right? Because you just have nothing going on. That means you don't, you, you've got an empty life that needs filling. Forget about women for a moment. Fill your life up with stuff, like have stuff going on. It means you don't have a social life. It means you don't have any hobbies or interests going on. You just go to work and go home if you go to work. If you don't have those things in your life, that deserves attention first and foremost. That's going to make you much happier than having women in your life will, right? So get that sorted, you know, in the beginning. If you don't have a life that inspires you, 
you know, if you don't have a life, that, if you don't do things that are exciting and interesting to you regularly, that you regularly do in your life, that's on you. You need to change that first, right? So fill up your life, fill it with things you enjoy. If you don't have things you enjoy, change it. If you have a job you hate, right? If a job that just, just sucks big time, start working towards changing that. How can you get an education you need? Can you switch? Can you leave? Can you, what can you do? Because if you have a life that's utterly uninspiring to you, why on earth would a woman be inspired by you? It's more important that you have an inspiring life, a life that inspires you, than you have women. But once you've got that life, women are going to be so much easier. You know, I've worked with you know thousands and thousands of clients, and one thing is absolutely clear. The men who already have lives that they enjoy, that are happy that they kind of worked hard on their life as men, um, they have a quite an easy time of picking up women. And th this isn't because they're rich or wealthy. It's just that once they meet me and I teach them a basic set of skills and mindsets and things after, with, after a bit of practice, after a month or two, they're absolutely killing it with women. Other guys who don't have their lives together, they just struggle. They, they can get there, but it's much, much, much harder. In short, you've got to stop looking at your dating skills as an isolated skill set, because I know a lot of men do that. Like, oh, I'm good everywhere else, just with women I suck. And that's possible. But oftentimes that's not the case. Oftentimes it's, you know, you as a man have to become the kind of man that women are going to want in their lives. And every man can accomplish that. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be super good looking. Cool. Those things help, but you don't need those things. But you do need to be an evolved man. You do need to grow as a man. You do need to be going somewhere. Right. And that's the key, too, is that you don't have to you don't have to just not even look at women until you have your life exactly how you want. it. I'm not saying that because one thing I learned from my own life, my own experience, and also a lot of the men that I work with, women can sense when men are going somewhere. So if you if you say today, you know what, my life sucks. I don't want the life I've got. I'm going to start changing it. You start actually taking steps. You go out, you try new hobbies. You go out and you start looking for different jobs. You'll start getting a different education. It doesn't matter if you're poor and you live in a shitty house and right now your life isn't how you want it because you're making changes to, to, to get the life you want. Women see that. Women love that. Women are turned on by that kind of man. You don't need to be there yet. So yeah, you can start picking up women even though you have a life that, that sucks for you right now, but start working towards the life you do want and women are going to love you that much more. Now, you know, there are a lot of areas where men tend to struggle with women. Um, and that tends to rely a lot on your personality. I know some of you are introverts, some are extroverts, some are more neurotic than others. All these different personality traits have a big impact on where exactly you're going to struggle with women. So what I did is I built a 16 point personality factor test. It's a personality profiling test. And if you do it, what happens is it looks at 16 different elements of your personality. And based on that, it's going to tell you exactly the areas where you're going to struggle most with women, your weakest points and your strongest points with women. So you can start to really adapt the way you approach them so that it matches your personality. So you're not trying to just mimic some other pickup coach who says, behave like me. Instead, you're going to learn to behave like you as a man with your unique personality profile. To learn more about that, go ahead and click the link up here. It's a free test to take it right now. I highly, highly recommend that. For the rest, what did you think about my video today? Let me know in the comments below. Have you worked towards having a better life and found that women respond incredibly well to it? Let me know. I'd love to hear your story. For the rest, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm Damien. Have a fantastic week. Take care.